Randy Lewis, you opened up uh, the uh, summit today with a great uh, opening keynote speak, uh, speech, and we've had other folks on here before, and they were all saying how wonderful it was. Uh, what was your sense uh, of the audience? You had a chance to network before right. uh, getting up on the dais? Well, I was, very, I was very excited about coming down here to this area because this is such a, a hub for logistics, and it was exactly what I, I did at Walgreens, and there's such a fantastic opportunity for uh, improving those workforces with people with disabilities. So it was, it was like talking to the home team today. Yeah, you, you single, singled out a, uh, a particular and unique HR manager. Uh, I caught briefly some of the remarks that you made downstairs. Um, I believe from Canada, was it? Is no, it? he was from uh, near Dallas. Okay. And he was the general manager. General manager. So he wasn't an HR person. Oh, this, he had, he was one of those hard-nosed <laughs> people who has to get results. So he was, he was the uh, general manager. Okay. And then you, you, you're used to speaking to folks. You said you were speaking to 5,000 managers uh, in the not-too-distant uh, past. Past. Yeah. Right. You are retired. That's why you look so relaxed here today. Uh, what... What was the outline? What did you uh, put together to uh, communicate to the folks here at the summit today? What was the main purpose of your speech? Uh, well, it was twofold. Uh, one, it was just to tell our story and to remind everybody that the responsibility of power. We had a bunch of leaders in, in the room, and sometimes we tend to bifurcate our lives. Well, I've got my private life and I have my work life. That. But we, as people, we share aspirations and lots of things that we don't talk about in business because we want to talk about numbers and accomplishments. But we don't have to leave that behind, Our, those aspirations and, and meaning. We can bring those together, serve shareholders, serve the business needs, and still do a lot for our communities and the common good. So to not, not spend a whole career of getting and spending because we, you and I both know that's not what it's about in the end. It's not how high you climb. Right. It's who's helped you and who did you help. And to remind, oh, by the way, if we don't do that, who will? Yeah. It, it's a good transition into uh, talk about help and support. Um, the Will County CED right. put this uh, summit together. Your impression of the CED? Oh, I, th I think that this has a tremendous potential. I mean, this area is the right spot the, the economic development, everybody I've talked to is excited because it's growing and has a huge possibility. And that was why I was excited about being here, because of that potential. Not only there's already a lot here, but there's going to be more. As we get more crowded, being on this side of Chicago, a little bit away <laughs> with, with, with the city of Joliet near the whole Will County thing, there, there's a lot of resources especially for our industry around logistics and supply chain. You mentioned, and if you briefly can share your book, No Greatness Without Goodness. It's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> briefly tell us a little bit more about that. About the book? Yes. Well, I wanted to write it because we had, you know, we had, we had launched this huge initiative not knowing if it would be successful. We wanted to open a new building and hire one-third of the workforce be people with disabilities. And it worked out better than we ever thought. Best performance, uh, best teamwork, best engagement. By every measure, it turned out a lot more successful than we would have ever believed. And it ended up spreading across our entire division yeah. and now out, out into our stores. And, in, and we gave it all away to other companies, too, and other companies are doing it. Yeah. And that's, that's where I came with the HR manager, because she had a cerebral palsy, and you mentioned right. that individual. In, a little difficulty in, in speech so that people really listen to Exactly. Her. Very good. And she could use that to her advantage. Yeah, absolutely. What a delight, a pleasure, and a privilege talking with you, sir. Thank you so much for stopping by to our summit. And we've been talking with Randy Lewis, who is uh, retired and with Walgreens.